hold the um, Montgomery County registered regular meeting December 18, 2018 to order. It is Tuesday, 7.05 p.m. Uh, Madam Clerk, roll call. Chairman Headwell. Present. Legislator Wilson. Present. Legislator Duchesne. Present. Legislator Pep. Present. Legislator Isabel. Present. Legislator Patel. Here. Legislator Kelly. Here. Legislator Sweet. Present. Legislator Diamond. Present. Let's please stand for the uh, flag. Salute to the flag and also have a moment of silence. What do they do? To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Part of the meeting is set aside for public comment. If anyone from the public would like to come forward and speak, this is the time you may do. If you decide to speak, please name, uh, state your name for the record. Seeing none, the next part would be the presentations. And tonight we have four presentations, and uh, Mr. Lutzer Patel. Do we have a bird? Yep. No, that's um, Mr. Uh, let's take a sweet. I'm sorry. He looks like a big Is that? Well, you're just doing so many for that. Okay. Yeah. Pull it toward you. offered two decades of, of successful service to Montgomery County and with his leadership, dependability, sound judgment, and ingenuity, he has played a vital role in serving the community and the residents of this county. And whereas Mr. Bergen began his career as a laborer for the village of St. Johnsville in 1998 and held this position until 2000. And whereas Mr. Bergen then advanced to the position of maintenance mechanic at the Montgomery County Sanitary District number one and then moved to wastewater treatment plant operator in 2004. And whereas in 2004, Mr. Bergen moved into the position of interim superintendent and then became superintendent in 2004 and held this position up until his retirement on November 30th, 2018. And whereas Mr. Bergen was a leader during two major floods and spent countless hours working during these incidents, even, track, even, track, <coughs> excuse me, even tracking down National Grid to get the plant's power reinstated so it was fully operational and whereas Mr. Bergen was so dedicated that he stayed overnight during those floods to keep an eye on the plan. And whereas the entrance <coughs> to the sanitary district during a big snowstorm and the plow trucks were at the plant. So Mr. Bergen snowshoed down the road to clear the way so everyone could, could get to work on time. And Mr. Bergen's ingenuity helped save the county thousands of dollars by working with staff to build much needed clarifier arms and he also worked with staff to fabricate an auto automatic bar screen rake that reduced permit violations and saved the district money. And whereas Mr. Bergen was an asset and valued, valuable resource to the Montgomery County Sanitary District number one, and his expertise will be missed by all. Now therefore, be it resolved, County Executive Matthew L. Ossenfort, Legislative Chairman Robert Edwell Jr., and Legislator Brian B. Sweet, on behalf of Montgomery County, Legislator hereby proclaim Tuesday, December 18th, 2018, as an official day in Montgomery County to most gratefully recognize, show appreciation, and to wholeheartedly thank Rob Bergen for his years of dedicated service to Montgomery County as in, and his residents. Just to take a picture. Can I get one together? Sorry.
It's looking very pretty tonight. Thanks, so thank you everybody for coming here tonight. Tonight, two of the, the proclamations are gonna be for first responders. Last year, we recognized uh, Mr. Frizel from the Hageman Fire Department for 50 years of service. Tonight, our first victim is, is, is Clem DeBerry. Now, many people may not know Clem is, is a quiet guy. He's got some pretty strong opinions. We don't always agree. He often roots for the other team, but uh, we've become some pretty good friends. So tonight, Clem, we're going to give you both a proclamation and a plaque. But I'm not one for reading the proclamations. I'd rather just speak from my heart. So you know, who would have thought that you and I would be standing here next to each other? Not many people, I guess. We sit together at the ball game. <laughs> the area's in the wrong section. <laughs> Bit of a bully, I guess. So I wanted to personally thank you for your service to our community. Not only did you serve Montgomery County as a, a operator for many years and in an assigned department, you represented all the employees in the county as the president of the union. And I heard you were a tough guy to negotiate with, but you did what you thought was right, and that's great. <laughs> Over, you spent 40 years <clears throat> serving the people of Cranesville as a fireman, a volunteer fireman, doesn't get paid, first ones to run in when everybody else is running out. One example is when you did run in before anybody got there, in Cranesville, there was a fire on Chapman Drive, and you were fire chief. You didn't bother to go to the fire station to, to get the fire trucks. He relied on his, his people to do that. And Clem ran into the building to make sure that there was nobody in there and that everybody was safe. Now, I don't know how many people here could say that they would do that, but I'm proud to know that you did, and, and, and I thank you. You were a fire assistant fire chief you were the fire chief you made sure that when they ordered vehicles the vehicles were the proper vehicles you were influential in getting many people to join the fire department to make sure that they were trained well and they had the equipment that they needed beyond that you served with the cranesville youth commission and you made sure that the children there had a baseball field to to play on and that when you had no money, you took your Bronco and, and took a chain link fence and leveled off the baseball field so the children could play. I can't tell you how much we appreciate that. So, let's see what we do here. Don't worry. <laughs> so on behalf of the Montgomery, the County of Montgomery, the County Legislators, the county executive and everybody in our community, I want to present you with this plaque for 41 years of service and tell you that I'm very proud to know you and I'm glad you're my friend. from us showing us your appreciate our appreciation and I thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very sure. Much. Do you want to get it? Go ahead. Also I want to thank the people from the Cranesville Fire Department and Clem's family for coming here and supporting him. I'm sure he appreciates it. Absolutely. What's that? Yes, yeah, do the Cranesville Fire Department want to come and take a picture? His family will. Yep. Last stand together with George King and I will get over 100 years of 
church. I'm not going to tell you how old you are. Congratulations. Brett Neely is nicely dressed. I watch you to know that I put up. Come on, the family. I wonder if you got all the information from Debbie, you want to stand right here? I'll go down by Brian. Smile. Smile like you're by camera. say one thing when I was chief this guy was chief in Amsterdam I'd go and talk to him he knew his stuff of course I knew my stuff too I gotta say that's true thanks please this guy taught me a lot too right here oh, man. <laughs> no. he taught me a little bit too yeah. George how are you good 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 day good for you let's be your dear this year I'll take a little hit. <laughs> Already talking about deer hunting. Yes. <laughs> you, 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 you tell what county we're in? <laughs> you know, Montgomery County has many great people. We have people that provide service to us. We have people that provide us with support. But one thing that we do have is great first responders. And I mean that to all you with my heart. Without you, our families wouldn't be safe. You, you, again, you run in when everybody's running out. And, you know, I can't say that I have the courage to do that. I know that you do. And I can't express to you enough how much that I appreciate that. So, Mr. King is probably the longest tenured fired fireman, bar none, in Montgomery County. There are some with more. <laughs> Get me their names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not, to, not tonight. <laughs> you've always worked hard. You, I understand you've held every position in a fire department that a person can have held. I guess so. <laughs> you've been assistant chief like Clem. You've been fire chief like Clem. You're a lot more handsome than Clem. <laughs> 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 you know, in, in our lives, we see many things that, that we might remember for, for life. And I have to imagine that the one thing that you remember in life is on April 5th, 1987, when the Scary Creek flooded and the Thruway Bridge collapsed, and you were monitoring the level of, of the creek. And you told me that you looked over and you couldn't believe your eyes, and you saw a tractor trailer running over the, what he saw was the side, thought was the side of, of the throughway bridge when actually there was no bridge there and it was doing, I, I don't ima I can't imagine how any of you can respond to something like that and, and not be with you forever. I have to also tell you that I knew your wife. It was funny, we talked the other day and you said it was your 60th anniversary of being married. Mm -hmm. And uh, I knew Joan, Joan was a great woman. She was also a real estate broker and she always spoke highly of you. She was always proud of you, and, and you were her, her rock. <laughs> and uh, I think there was something special when I called you that day, and it was your anniversary, so congratulations like that. So again, I want to present to you a plaque for 60 years of dedicated service from Montgomery County, from the legislature, from the county executive, and everybody in Montgomery you've made a change in so many people's lives and often volunteer firemen don't get the accolades that they should so i wanted to thank you appreciate it
get a picture with the fireman. So, can we cut around the side here a little? All the short people have to kneel. Let's push this other way. There we go. So, are you from both fire departments or just one? All the tribes. All the tribes. Come on, close. I'm a politician. I don't fight. Just hold on to your ball. Okay. Now we have to pretend we like each other. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Picture for our department. Thank you guys. Sure. Shaking here. Sure. Come on, Dan. Why don't you get on? I'm going to say you can shake It's a class. That's good. You can put that next door. You can do it. Dan, don't move. Come on back. They want a picture. Make sure this all gets on your Facebook account. There you go. Like he's got a Facebook account. <laughs> We're not done. Bye. Are we? Yeah. More proclamation. We're going to have the fine people from the first office to join me up here. We're going to meet for the department. office is an inter integral part of Montgomery County. It always has been, but the only face that people really see or recognize is DMV. Right, DMV? There's more to it than Department of Motor Vehicles. You have people doing pistol permits. You have people doing... I have this written down. <laughs> <laughs> I got it written down. <laughs> They do they record deeds, they record judgments, they record liens on property, they record subdivisions. They are the lifeblood of recording in Montgomery County. If it's important in Montgomery County, it's where? It's in your office because New York State is a record state. And if it's not recorded, it don't need bunk, right? Mm -hmm. So you are so important to keeping Montgomery County's records together, and I don't think people recognize that. All they want to do is complain about when they're standing too line in DMV, right? But you guys do a great job. You also do pistol permits and passports. So I just wanted to thank you all for working together. You're a great group of people. I've become friends with most of you um, coming in and visiting, and you're integral to my business, and I appreciate that. So who's going to get the your longest finger? Oops. Yes, she is. I'm oh, not going to propose. <laughs> so if you want to get a picture, can you get closer? So thank you all again for what you do. And I wanted to thank. I'm right here. Come on. Come on, Autumn. Come on. Come on. I don't smell that bad. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> Now, one more thing while you're up here. One more thing while you're up here. You know, I, I've made friends 
with Helen Bartone over the years. She's been your boss. She's done a great job. I'm sure you all can agree on that. She yes, spent sir. 30 years. Absolutely. She spent 48 years, I believe, 46 years serving the community. 43. There you go, <laughs> keeping records again. <laughs> and uh, this may be your last meeting. This is going to be your last year, but you've graced the halls of that department for many years. You've provided great things for many people. I know you asked me not to say anything, but I wanted to tell you that I appreciate what you've done. Montgomery County appreciates what you've done. The legislature and the county executive appreciate what you've done, and you'll never be forgotten. Amen. Acceptance of the budgetary transfers. We had budgetary transfers from November 21st, 2018 to December 19th, 2018. Any aggregate budget transfers for December 2018? Have a motion? I'll move. Motion by Elizabeth Cap, second. I'll second. Legislator Wilson, any discussion? Records for November 2018. Motion. Motion by Legislator Diamond. Second by Legislator Kelly. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Same. Okay. Old business. We have old business, which is a resolution for two uh, resolution 239 of 2018, a resolution denying application for credit for the 2018 county and tax roll. Um, we do have a veto message from the um, county exec, and we have 30 days to act on it. And I ask that the um, clerk um, keep this under old business for the next meeting. New business. Yes. Uh, in addition, it's like, um, if it per and pertains to, the, to this resolution, is uh, I'd like to have the clerk if you could contact uh, Bob Harris, uh, the assessor, so that uh, we can get an actual number. So far, we've had a, a lot of different numbers, uh, ranging from, well, whatever they are. Everyone is familiar with it. So um, if you, you could provide them with the, with the information 
information that we have and uh, so that when the resolution comes up uh, next month that uh, we'll be able to address it. Thanks, Chair. On a new business, um, I need a motion to suspend the rules amending the agenda to add resolution 298 and 299. So moved. Motion by Legislator Scott, second by Legislator Wilson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Resolution 270, resolution, two set, or resolution for property owners request to be included within the Montgomery County Certified Agricultural District Number 2. Sponsors were Kelly and Sweet. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Yes. Resolution 271, resolution amending the 2019 operating budget, 2018-19 Soulville <coughs> Trail Grant in aid program. Sponsors were Kelly and Sweet. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 272, resolution authorizing the county exec to sign revolving loan fund agreement for Valley View Hospitality Incorporated. Sponsors were Pep and Wilson. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. Abstain. Oh, you got that? Yes. Yes. Resolution 273, resolution approving the terms and conditions of a certain plot agreement, a pilot agreement to be entered into between the Montgomery County Industrial Development Agency and KCG Development LLC in connection with the KCG Development LLC project. Sponsors were Pep and Wilson. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 274, resolution amending the 2019 operating budget and reestablishing the, the position of public work store helper one. Sponsors were Sweet and Pep. Discussion? Yes. Sure. If I could ask the commissioner, I'm kind of Basically, um, I don't know how far Maggie wants me to get in with what was to do with contracts, but what basically happened is uh, the company that came in and proposed that whole program for the IBS uh, basically sold a big bag of goods to the county and to the contractor that was in work for it. Um, the contractor for the local guy. Yeah. So basically, you know, at the at the end of the year, when we sat down with Marco and we were going through what it was costing the county to have his program in, um, there was a lot of questions. Uh, the local contractor who was running the program came to me about the end of September and said he was pulling out. He, he wasn't happy with it. He wasn't making enough money. Uh, he basically felt as though he was lied to by the company who, you know, who offered that to him to put him in there. Um, so he wanted, he wanted out. So, so do you feel confident that you can reestablish it? Yeah, I, yeah, I do. That's why I feel as though you know we could, we can do a better job in house, and you know, than continuing with that company that was that had presented to us. You know, and I felt the same way that our local jobber in there that we had. That, you know, if he couldn't get in there and make it work and get prices cheaper, you know what? bring uh, somebody from Albany in, you're not going to do any better than what he was doing for us. So. Just to add to that, one of the issues also was that the stock group never got fully stocked. Uh, and so when the local vendor decided to, to they didn't want to do it, then we had an opportunity at that point to have the pair company come in fully stocked and try to give it another go that way. The issue there was if it didn't work out, we were responsible for all that inventory. 
So when you looked at it, the, the risks of moving forward far outweighed any potential savings we could have. And we decided as you know, a group that the best way to move forward is put the legislature to get out now while there's not really real liability. And uh, you know, with the conversations with Eric, I'm confident that Eric is going to do a good job to you know, get things moving. Mr. Chairman, yeah. just to add to that, because I would remind my fellow legislators that that when that presentation was made, the, the person from the parent company demonstrated that there was no direct connection between this proposal, which was made on behalf of the local company, and, and the, the project itself. So, and that, and that was, I think, problematic right, right from the start. And I was uncomfortable with that. And, and um, <clears throat> I remember the representative from the company uh, demonstrated that perhaps I was confused. And I wish he were here now to remind him that. Uh, I was not. Resolution 275, Resolution 275, amending the 2019 operating budget to establish a position of structural maintenance helper. Sponsors were Sweet and Pep. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Staying. Yes. Resolution 276, Resolution amending the 2018 operating budget. Sponsors were Sweet and Pep. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 277, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign an agreement between the Gloverville Johnstown Joint Wastewater Treatment Facility and Montgomery County Sanitary District Number One for sludge, tra uh, sludge treatment disposal. Sponsors were Diamond and Pat. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 278, resolution appointing member of the Montgomery County Sanitary District Number One Board of Directors. Sponsors for Sweet and Diamond. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. Yes. Resolution or resolution 279, resolution authorizing the county exec to sign insurance renewal agreements. Sanitary district. Sponsors for Sweet and Diamond. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 280, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign Berkshire Farm Center in service with the youth, uh, youth Stepping Stones Agreement. Sponsors were Pep and Wilson. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 281, resolution establishing a new part-time microcomputer technician in the data processing department for the new public safety building. Sponsors were Diamond and Pep. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 282, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign renewal agreement 2019 transportation of Fulton County veterans. Sponsors were Kelly and Sweet. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Abstain? Yes. Resolution 283. Resolution adopting the Montgomery County Sexual Harassment Prevention Policies. Sponsors were Pep and Diamond. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 284, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign renewal agreement with Safety National for excess worker compensation coverage. Sponsors were Wilson and Isabel. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? 
Pass. Resolution 285, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a renewal agreement with Davis Vision. Sponsors for Pep and Wilson. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Yes. Resolution 286, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a renewal agreement with Eastern Medical Support. Sponsors for Isabel and Pep. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Yes. Resolution 287, resolution adopting the revision discriminatory harassment policy and complaint procedure. Sponsors were Pep and Wilson. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. Yes. Resolution 288, resolution of authorizing cost sharing with the Fulton County and the city of Johnstown on the CEQA court annexation. Sponsors were Pep and Wilson. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <clears throat> Abstain? Yes. Resolution 289, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign agreement in Soil and Water Conservation District. Sponsors were Sweet and Wilson. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Yes. <clears throat> resolution 290, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign agreement with Cornell Cooperative Extension. Sponsors were Pep and Diamond. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 291, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign an agreement with the Office for the Aging. Sponsors were Wilson and Diamond. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 292, resolution accepting bids for the 2018 real property tax foreclosure online auction. Sponsors were Cortell and Sweet. I'll make okay. a motion that we amend to insert the bid prices that we received. Okay, so we have an amend and we have a motion by Kelly. We have a second. So a second by Sweet. Any discussion? Yes. Chair, I'd like to. Ideally, have someone pull their sponsorship so that this can go back to committee uh, so that we can discuss the, the property so we have a, a better understanding of what they are, what they're going to be used for. Uh, the people that are lying. With respect to your request, I'll pull my sponsorship on this. So does any so right now we have the sponsor and a second on the the amendment. Is there any discussion on the amendment? Who is the second the amendment? Sweet. So vote on the amendment. Vote on the amendment. We'll vote, so we're gonna vote on the amendment. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. I oppose. Uh, I have a question. Diamond and Pebble? Yes. Okay. Anybody abstain? Okay, the amendment passed. Okay, now. Resolution as amended discussion. Resolution as amended discussion. You already put it there, Diamond, or for the. I will pick up his sponsorship so I can ask my question. Uh, being this went through auction, is there a timeline on when the treasurer would have to reach out? Like, we wouldn't accept the bids, or the people could pull out? Yeah, 
deposit, and then um, title doesn't transfer until after the uh, approval by the legislature. But I don't know off the top of my head if there's a timeline also for online auctions. But if, but I will I will look into it, and if there is. Resolution 293, resolution authorizing the sale of real property acquired by tax court Osier Town of Amsterdam. Sponsors were Wilson and Bertel. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 294, <clears throat> resolution approving the re uh, relevy of delinquents, school taxes, village taxes, water rent, and sewer taxes. Sponsors were Bertel and Diamond. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 295, resolution amending the 2019 operating budget to fund the position changes after adoption. Sponsors were Diamond and Wilson. Discussion? Can oh. we just go over this one more time? What this was, this is unfunded? No, so after the budget was adopted, there were resolutions that you guys passed that were not included in the 2018 budget. So these are amending the budget. No, they they took what was originally funded and transferred things. Around. Yeah, in most okay. cases it was uh, transferred with it. Well, if, if it's using contingency or fund balance, it doesn't say here. Right? No, I don't think they have it. Not on this one. No, not on this one. This was on this just um, transferred from title yeah. to title. Yeah. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Resolution, resolution 296, resolution, a resolution of approving the abstract of audit of claims. Sponsors were Sweet and Diamond. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 297, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign contract insurance coverage sponsors were Bertel and Wilson. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Yes. Resolution 298, resolution setting the date and time of the 2019 organizational meeting. Sponsor? So moved. Who's that? Sponsor. Sponsored by Legislator Hep. Second was Legislator Wilson. Yes. And it will be on January 8, 2019 at 6 o'clock. <coughs> Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Resolution 299, resolution confirming the appointment of the superintendent of the Montgomery County Sanitary District number one for the county debt. And my sponsors were Kelly and Sweet with the sponsors. Okay, so we have an amendment sponsored by Legislator Kelly. Second. Second by Legislator Sweet. Any discussion on the amendment? Any other discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Now, as the uh, um, uh, resolution as amended, any discussion? Discussion. Okay. Just um, as uh, Brian pointed out, Diane is in the back there, and uh, 
very fortunate to have her. She uh, is a wealth of knowledge. Uh, she knows the plan inside and out. Uh, she worked with Bob uh, side by side for many years. And uh, most importantly, uh, she's very energetic and she's looking to, to do a lot of things there. And uh, can't say enough to uh, welcome her to uh, the Sanitary District. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So I'll go through them maybe, I don't know, each Go ahead. site. I don't know, it looks like a blank check. <laughs> <laughs> so there's our picture that'll be up on the wall. <clears throat> Notice mine is in purple. <laughs> and the chairman took the oath. We did a lot of recognitions this year, so we put some of the headlines that were in the paper. Um, but I do think that was a big takeaway from this year is we really took time to represent deserving people. And I guess there's a lot of credit for that. Some of the highlights. I believe this is like each month of the year. Yeah, there was the first. Uh, presentation Morgan went over had about 50 pages. I said, we're going to have to cut that down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was well there. My favorite picture. <laughs> 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 Everything great. And, and I, I think we can all call to attention how happy. Sure so Paul's, uh, Paul's retirement. What happened to number nine? We've said goodbye yeah. to some long I don't know. I took number nine's place at night, I guess. Now here we go, here's some interesting uh, ones with uh, Cheryl and public health and... N no, this, this was at the tour of FMCC. So if you pay attention to the left side, we're not quite sure what Megan was smiling at, but everybody <laughs> was looking forward and Megan was turned sideways smiling. She was real cool this year. <laughs> I think she was listening to former legislator White. <laughs> oh, I probably was. <laughs> that must be her. Oh, uh, there's, there's, there's one of our favorites, uh, the meteorologist. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Brian Champion. Do you want to elaborate on the Yeah, so the one right? up, up uh, that is um, the, the guy that's, uh, that's Tim Horton. It's a statue in Buffalo that uh, when we were walking around, not only did we see the Tim Horton statue, but we saw Dan Levy from ESPN because he was there for Monday Night Football. 
And then we saw the daughter of the, I think we screwed up, the Pribulia family, they put about quarter million, a quarter billion dollars into downtown Buffalo. But that was one of the shots from that day. And I had to put a picture of my daughter in here from Youth Day, and the <laughs> annual uh, most embarrassing moment of the year for me is the Amsterdam Mohawks banquet, where you have to put out the Mohawk and come out in front of everybody. So. Hey, you ready for the drum roll? Uh, so this was uh, just to show that we like to have a little fun around the office. You see on the left, uh, yeah. for Halloween, <laughs> Nancy dressed up as Baggett. And, and, and in the middle is uh, Nancy sitting at a desk with the wig. And then on the left-hand side, is we uh, we did a little sketch where uh, Nancy was, as Megan was reading me law, and as usual, me not understanding what was going on. <laughs> and then to the right, uh, we, we put that in there. And I did take a picture out. But our esteemed county attorney, who you know, has a degree from Cornell, Vermont Law, that is the state of the plant in her office. I still agree. Some days it's standing tall, other days not so much, and it keeps going back and forth, and we have a good time making fun of it. So, yeah, and Nancy, always a good sport, as many of you know, she's always, uh, she's really the glue of the, the executive's office. Nancy's the good sport in that side. <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing the wig. <laughs> so it was a good opportunity to thank my fellow legislators. Um, this has been a great year. Um, I think we have worked very, very well together. We have worked very professionally. Um, we always had not agreed on everything, but however, I think that during our meetings and stuff, we, we acted in a professional manner to get to where we needed to be for the taxpayers of Montgomery County. And I think as we get farther into the New year, we're going to be able to look back at the at this year and see how well we did um, saving money and, and all those other things. And I think it comes down to what I talked about in the very beginning of the year was that the people that work for us in this county care about what they do and they do a great job. And I think that's one of the reasons why um, I was so adamant that we really needed to recognize them. And as long as we keep recognizing them and showing them how much we do appreciate them, that they just keep making our job here that much easier and we're all on the same page to keep saving money um, for, for everybody. Um, and also to do my job um, this year as a chairman, there really was four major people that I wanted to recognize and three of them are here tonight. Um, one would be um, Cheryl. Um, she, you know, really made makes the job a lot easier. Morgan, um, as some of you think, she's very quiet, very sweet. There's a whole different side of her that, that you don't see, but she does a great job. And if you give her an assignment and say, I need this in four weeks, within about four hours, she calls you up and says, I got it all done. What else do you need? And if you don't respond with, to within her for a couple minutes, um, she kind of keeps keeps on you and also the person to my right who whispers when you aren't doing things the way you're supposed to or you she needs you need some direction so and then the fourth one would, would be Nancy at Matt's office so I mean with, with these three of uh, these four people and I hate to say say this really in public but they're all four women that kind of keep us in order um, but they do a nice job and I do personally want to thank you for for such a great year. Adjourn. Motion by Kelly, second by Legislator Wilson. All in favor? Aye. Opposed?